Good morning guys. Today we are in La Romana in the Dominican Republic and we are about to get on a boat to Catalina Island. Yes, Catalina Island. I know there's another one out there. But we are off for a day of snorkeling. Well, I am anyways. My parents are going scuba diving, but unfortunately my ears don't equalize. If you have read my book, you know I was kind of in a near near death experience in an airplane once and I've had ear issues ever since. So unfortunately I can't go way under the water but I'm gonna snorkel on top and enjoy all the sights and a beautiful day on the boat so I'm excited to take you along with me so let's go go dad Okay guys, I'm ready to go. We are now on Catalina Island. I have a bit of a snorkel mark here from my mask. It was so beautiful. Honestly, I don't feel like I missed out not scuba diving because it was just like the coral reefs. Although I couldn't go down and touch anything, I just was able to glide along the top and I swam through schools of fish and I saw jellyfish and it was just, it was so beautiful, really. I'm so grateful. There's one thing though that really upset me it was that I saw some plastic. I grabbed what I could but there was of course like some bottles rolling along the bottom and I just wanted to pop on here to remind you guys that while you are on the beach or you're on a boat just be really careful that you're not littering into the water because I recently watched the documentary A Plastic Ocean and if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it please 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 watch it uh, I'll leave a link to it down below but it just really opened my eyes to so many things that I wasn't aware of and yeah, I'm really grateful that I saw that. I actually saw it when I was volunteering in Costa Rica, but it just has really enforced in me how important it is to keep our waters clean. So I've been picking up things while I've been along the beach in Punta Cana and picking up things today while I can. So just be, be conscious, you guys, please. But I guess now it's time for me to show you this beautiful island. We have about 45 minutes before lunch. My parents are out on another dive, so I'll show you the beautiful scenes. So it's definitely on these types of holidays, beach holidays, especially when you go on an excursion that you see which couples love each other and which ones just aren't meant for each other. And I can tell you guys right now, like being on this holiday with my parents, being like single, it's so much better being on the beach alone, for example, right now, than it is to be with a significant other that you just don't see eye to eye with or get along with or should be with. So, I mean, if that's you, Life is so much better not in that situation. I was once in that situation twice, so I just thought I'd come on here and give you my two cents. <laughs> Lunch was amazing, and just like the other day on Sayona, there was lots of veggie options for me. So I had a lot of rice, eggplant, and salad, and yeah, just feels good to eat that way, that's for sure. But I'm back in my chair, lying on the beach. I think we have like an hour and a half left here, so I'll probably go swimming, maybe a little bit of snorkeling. I wish I had a really good underwater camera. My parents have a GoPro, so I might try to use it for you guys, but even then, it doesn't do it any justice. But yeah, just couldn't enjoy myself here. I hope you guys are enjoying these relaxing vibes as well. All right guys, as you can see the water is so clear. It is amazing. So I come to take you for a little swim. There is a lot of fish swimming here too, which is really nice. These little angelfish and 
baby sword kind of stick fish. I have no idea what their name is. Gabby, you probably know, girl, so you can tell me. <laughs> but it's so stunning. The water is so warm and refreshing. And the waves that are coming in are a decent size, so it's fun to just float around in them all day. <laughs> You guys, check it. My boyfriend has rolled up to give me a ride all the way back to Punta Cana. But should we hop in or is he being a little bit too needy? A little bit too close. What do you guys think? You know my heart, my heart. 